Hi, my name is Pixel Mist, and in this video we are going to create a part of the um, armor while character in the Easy Standalone. And this is going to be a helmet, and so we can both start. I have to cut. So, um, let's begin with a helmet. So I decided I'm going to create a helmet for Stormtrooper from Star Wars because I have a, I see a big potential here. Uh, there is a lot of fans of Star Wars and this is a great platform for role play and everything like that. So after you have downloaded the um, models, you need to throw them into the Blender, if you can see them with the windows, because you need to check them out first. As you can see, I can't see them because something is wrong. So I have unpacked it right over here. Now I'm going to run the Blender. I might uh, really be a little bit slow, but maybe that's even good. Because I haven't done this for a while and I don't really remember some of the details. So now I'm going to take a look at the moles. And as I can see right here, we have a helmet and a stormtrooper itself. So let's open the stormtrooper to take a look. And we don't we don't need any posing here, right? We need just moles, and as I can see, there is uh, there is no helmet, but very interesting, anyways. How many? Okay, come on. How many faces do we have here? Oh, that's nice. Okay, that might be suitable for this East alone without any editing. So let's import the helmet itself. And we don't need any posing here too. Let's delete it. And as you can see, for some reason, that's not the issue with importing it. The guy who, who was creating it did it a little bit wrong. <laughs> that's for real like that in the game. That's from Battlefront 2. Okay. And maybe we need to how many how many do we have here? How do I count it in this in the in the blender? I forgot. Well anyways, let's export it first. And here, uh, I need to run the DZ standalone tools. And also, I need to drink the, uh, my tablets that are against the uh, Mount Drive P, that, that are against the. I'm allergic to my cats, and I have two of them, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, after we have mounted down Drive P, let's export it to our Drive P, because this is the place where we uh, always walk, right? So, how do we, how can I, let's try it this way. Let's create I'm going to do that by myself, so you can try to make it too, but I don't see a reason for that, because uh, I don't want to say that I'm more experienced than you, and I'm going to do it faster, because I might be lazy, right? Uh, I mean that there is plenty of other things you can do to help the DZ community. And if you're feeling lucky, I mean, 
that everything you're doing is great. You can you feel you can feel free to contact me, and we are going to create it together. Okay. So characters, or, or, or I should say it by the rules characters, and burial, I guess. I am a little bit a pawn of the Star Wars, so I know this is a phase two uh, or phase three bait. Now this is phase three Imperial um, Star Wars. So this is the phase one. This is the phase two. And here we have phase three, I guess. Or maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a really huge fan, but I really like everything about it. So let's stay with the phase three. Or I can just uh, take a look. Wait. If someone made that. Oh, okay, that's not a mod. <laughs> okay, well, let me figure it out, okay? And I'll tell you the result. Okay, so this is not a phase 3 or phase 2. This is called Straight Storm Trooper. Uh, with two. I have cheapest keyboard I could find. Wait, and now it feels... looks wrong, right? No. That's fine, okay. Okay, okay, and let's go, let's create here another one. I, I don't know, regular. And here we go, finally we are going to start with the helm. This is essential to understand what is happening inside of your mod, or not mod, inside of your mod. So always do that. Don't be extremely lazy, because uh, back in, the, uh, no, I mean, with the time, you would like to be able to remember what you're doing, if you want something to change, or ask other people to change something for you. And as you can see, here already, because we have stated in the folders what we are doing here, we can just name it. Uh, I suggest doing the same way I'm doing uh, before Blender. You'll see why it's before Blender later. Helmet. Okay, you can ride a stone trooper here, right? Imperial or troop, st stone trooper or not? But uh, I can see that from the past, from the path. So I can just. Go even to before Blender, bl oh, fucking hell, before Blender helmet. Next port over here. Okay, great, we have it over here. Let's create another folder called data. Because here we are going to have all the textures we are going to use. And for that, I need to go to my. <clears throat> no, not to the downloads. Uh, I need to go over here. And take a look at my downloads right over here somewhere. I just accidentally closed it. So wait a bit. Um, oh, here I got. Here I go. Take. Let, let me see that. Okay, great. And I'm not a company to buy it. I'm allowed to use it for free. Uh, so now we're going to go to the textures, helmet. And let's take all of them over here. And I want to take a look what's okay. Um, that's going to take some time, so I'm not really interested in taking a look what it is actually over here. Anyways, we're going to create our materials by ourselves. So now we need to ex inspect the textures over here. Um, I hope the normal map is going to be not green. Oh, fucking hell. 
Okay, I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Uh, that's a little bit a problem for me because I always forget how to uh, go back to normal. So this is the base color, I guess, or I mean just color. This is uh, some sort of ambient occlusion, I guess. And I don't know what, what, oh, okay, it's a high map. We're not going to use a high map over here, so we don't need it. And what's the difference between those? So one is, oh, okay. Don't really, doesn't, li doesn't really matter. So uh, now we're going to take a look at how many polygons we have. Uh, right over here, I didn't do that with the blender because I don't really remember. I, I don't really remember how to do that. I don't want to spend my time since I can just do it in the DZ tools. And the problem here is that sometimes you need to restart it to make it work. So let's go to the option builder right now. About how does it help the Object Builder for days east and lawn modding. You can take a look um, in the where, do, where you can take a look. You can take a look in the video about how to create a knife or some sort of melee weapon for the east and lawn on my channel. So let's import um, our FBX file and hope that it's it has the extension of FBX before. 2014 because otherwise it will not work. So char I mean characters, Imperial Stone Trooper, regular helmet, and here we go. I guess. Okay, it is somewhere over here. But it is a little bit it's it's not a little bit, it's really big. Like the size of the building, I guess. So let's make one thousand more uh, times smaller. So here we go, now it's too small. Okay, great. Let's go back. It is always like that. Okay, now I think this is this is going to be fine or otherwise we can just uh, change it later. Okay, so let's uh, turn it by 90 degrees and move somewhere over here and we have 7000 I I think and I hope that's fine for this East Tunnel okay let's go so that's fine now what are we going to do now and you're going to and you can receive those files for free uh, in the description of the video now we need to uh, go to the desistant loan itself uh, which is unpacked version how to unpack it you can go to the DZ tools tools and extract gain data it's going to take about half an of hour I guess or maybe five minutes depends on how strong, how good your computer is. So now we're going to go to the head here and take a look. Is any helmet over here? Yes, it is. So which helmet are we going to be base basing off? I guess. Yeah, model helmet. I think that's good. Uh, let's use the ground version two, and we don't. We are not going to use this one anymore. So let's go to the. Let's go to back to this DC Star Wars pack over here. Characters: Imperial Stormtrooper, regular helmet, and now we are going to paste it over here, and. Uh, let's rename it to the 
helmet male and helmet round and helmet female for some reason if you are going to do that but I don't really like to make this because most of the people are playing uh, on the male characters so that's a necessary work over here some of them have female male versions but mono helmet not so that's why why I like it uh, now we need to use another program I'm already recording yeah called uh, eliteness over here why because we need to take out from here model config and delete the txt extension so let's go over here characters imperial stone trooper <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> I'm sorry and male version now without that it's not going to work it basically states what it has inside of it which bones and everything like that and let's go back this is the daisy skeleton but this is the name of it okay great I don't even need to rename it mm, and let's extract the material okay um, and create it over here so material and extension for it element yeah I know and let's copy that why though because uh, material that I have copied will really 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 help me with uh, mm, creating the right reflection why that wait I'm going to use material from here because this is the wrong way we can do that. Uh, there is a better way, and we are just going to copy that later. Okay, so now we need to create this. No, we don't need to create uh, for the ground version, right? We can just go with with this one, but without the skeleton. Uh, so. I'm going to copy that right now and paste it over here right again and rename it to the ground and I'm going to take the skeleton from here and write a smiley face for example I don't know anything anything you want because there is no such skeleton over here it will not find it anyways um, okay I don't need this and you don't want to have the skeleton for the ground version, otherwise when you, while you are holding it in your hands, it will appear like you're uh, lowering it. So, okay, we are almost done over here. Uh, now, since we already have our model config, we can uh, extract the main log for, from our model over here main level of distance oh, no no of details and delete the old file over here and rename it back oh no i misclicked and rename it back to the helmet male version over here let's delete the female version while we because we will not need it anyways so let's don't uh <laughs> let's don't so let's not uh waste our space over here okay and the same thing for the ground version over here let's delete it and then rename it back to the ground uh, version okay so and we don't need this sketchy program anymore which is not allowed in some countries so um don't worry anyways you're going to 
receive those files, the unpacked files. Um, yeah, you're going to receive them. Yeah, and you will be able to pack it by yourself. So next thing, uh, so you don't need this program, okay? So next thing we're going to do right now is basically, um, what are we going to do? We need some of the tools over here. Now, this is a little bit more difficult than uh, creating a gun, for example, or even a melee weapon, of course. So now we need our animation project. You will receive that too. So uh, I need character mail right over here. And for animation purpose, I need this rig blend over here. So, what, I, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make sure that everything everything looks fine right over here. So, uh, now I'm going to open uh, Daisy Tools and uh, Object Builder. I, I really like to make it like this. Okay, yeah, I have a phone call. I'm sorry. Okay, <clears throat> sorry for that. I never miss calls because someday it can be called that you don't want to miss. Uh, okay, so for example, call for help um, from your friends or parents or someone you love. Okay, so uh, helmet and I need to open it in the object builder right over here. No, please. Okay, take a look. Now we have over here helmet and the uh, in the section, uh, selection section, we have one bone called head, and this is pure, pure red. So this basically means I don't really need to animate anything. I mean, take weights from the uh, basic rig. So this tutorial is going to be even shorter because for helms you don't need that, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to delete uh, second LOD, and now I'm going to open second um, object, object builder just in case it will crash. Oh uh, no, and uh, import our before blender, mm, and it is going to be this big, right? Yeah, and I need to turn it 90 degrees. And from here, I can just drag it over here and copy and paste right over here and close this one. I don't need it anymore. And where is it over here? Okay. And don't forget to turn on the, your graphics card. And looks like it's almost perfectly scaled up. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go up over here. And right like that, I think. Damn, I really like this. Okay, and let's take a look from all the sides. Look. Uh, well, I haven't moved it uh, from center to center, so it's centered up anyways. So, I'm not sure that character's head is going to fit here. How do I uh, check it? I need to go to Object Builder and open up character mail. <laughs> delete the second one. Oh, it's already delete because I saved it like that. And put it right over here. If I see something sticking out, that means I fucked up. And I can even take a look at how much more space do I have. Look, by the way, that's really interesting. If I go right over 
actually here. Damn. So, wait, no, people can't see that. <laughs> see through this helmet, okay. Uh, okay, uh, at least uh, it's... It, it, it almost works. Okay, uh, let's make it a little bit... Uh, to the floor, I, uh, sorry, English is not my first language, okay? Like that, so hair will stick out and just a little bit space in case of something. Copy that and paste it over here, turn on this. So now we can take a look how it's going to be in the game. Okay, great. and. Oh, forget about everything. Yeah. Delete here and paste it over here. Okay, great. Now we are done here. So press save. Control S. Now we are going to walk the first of all. Now we are not done here. We need to redefine it with the head. So Control A to select everything and redefine. Now we have applied animations for our helmet over here. Now we need to... Oh, damn it. Okay. Um, let's go. So, so, so. And now, now I'm going to... Damn. I'm sorry, I got distracted with the phone call. So now we need to create textures, okay? So let's go to the data. Uh, in other section we need to go over here and go to the data and find mother helmet over here because it kind of reflects light the way I want. So uh, mother helmet, destruct, damaged, so on, black, normal map, we don't need it. What the fuck is scared? Scary is one, it's when you, ah, yeah, I understand now what scary is, from the word scare. It can be, uh, wait, there is a white one, okay, let's take a white one, too. Okay. It can be either you are scared because you're afraid, or, um... It can be also that you are, you, no, no, I mean, the other, fuck, fuck off, okay, yeah, I understand what I'm talking about, I don't need to explain that in the tutorial video, right, um, so, this is the material, okay, damaged, destructed one, and white helmet, okay. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Okay, I got a message right now, right? Am I wrong? No. Oh, no. So, now I'm going to use this, put it over here, file, save as. Base. Uh, I usually work with uh, Substance Painter when I'm creating something by myself, but uh, I'm not going to name it. No, I'm going to name it Base Color, even that it's not a base color. And no, wait, 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 wait. We can do it better. No. Let's go to Photoshop right now. Okay, then uh, let's go and use uh, this over here. Okay, we need to create, uh, since it has a transparency, tra okay, I don't like that it has a transparency at all, but since it has, we might want to use it as 
no, we are going to get rid of this transparency. Uh, we don't need it like at all. So um, this one, I see the first time how the ambient occlusion looks like from frosty engine or whatever engine was made uh, was used in the battlefront. So uh, let me figure out. Uh, okay, here we go. Either we need only blue, only red, okay, only red, only blue. I think we need only red right over here. So I'm going to copy the green one and paste it right over here if, I, if I'm allowed to. Can you? Can I? And I need to record this. Now I'm going to copy that and paste it right over here. So here. Yeah, uh, so we need just to use the same channel information in every single uh, in every single what in every single channel okay uh, take a look I'm going to make it like this so it is already looking good right but we can just make it even better with a multiplier Well, let me take a look what is going to look better. So it, those parts looking like kind of cartoonish, but when I use the multiplier, they look the same. Okay, what else we have here? Hard light. Oh, wow. Looking dope. Uh, take a look. There are some details. You want them to be exposed at maximum. So I think we're going to stay with this or with this. Okay, we're going to use this one. This one is... Uh, linear burn, okay? Now, Ctrl Shift E to merge them. File, save as. And save it is. Now, this is going to be a base color, okay? I know that's wrong way to name it, but that's just how my brain works when I think about it. It's it, it usually base color for me, so. Uh, okay, I've saved it. Uh, now I'm going to create the SMD architecture for it, but for that, I need to take a look at the SMD texture from the original helmet right over here. Uh, and I forgot to take it over here. So let's copy that, uh, paste it over here. And also we have in the materials, I've already seen this one, TICA. Because I don't know what TICA is. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what it is. But I think this is some sort of detail or... I don't know. We're not going to use it. And the SMD texture right over here. So that's how it look, should, should look like, okay? So let's uh, go channel by channel. Red is always blank. We don't care about it. So let's start from the blue. Uh, we need to create some, some sort the same reference in the Photoshop, okay? So, uh, I need to go black and white. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, black and white. Now, I need to go to the channels, go to the blue, and I need to invert it. Am I right? Yeah, I need to invert it. Now, I'm going to go to the uh, Control L to use the levels of the coloring and I'm going to zoom in over here 
Now, I'm not really sure. Um, wait, uh, let's let's make a full screen. The fuck off, please. Okay, that's fine. And I might want to not make it so uh, inverted. Wait. Yeah, I'm not going to make it inverted right here. Mm, because from here it already looks like almost like the way it should be. Except. Except. It needs to be a little bit more gray. Less white. Um, And everything else should be more darker. Great. Now let's go. Uh, that's fine. Let's go to the green one. Now we need to invert the green, right? And green has some damaged uh, for some reason elements here uh, I want it to be almost new so I don't want to put them anyways we don't have already that already have them over here so we can see the contrast between um, those things so let's make it a little bit more obvious wait no 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 Looks like I've done the same thing, right? What is what if? So I need to play a little bit over here. It, it's kind of gray, so I need to make it kind of gray, like that. Without jokes. So I'm going, going to leave it like this. And really interesting how it looks like all right over here because this is first time I'm training some uh, equipment that is need to look plastic and shiny. <clears throat> and I hope that we succeed over here, but anyways, it's going to be fully functional uh, helmet anyways. And this is not a base color. This is... Oh, fuck off. This is... A helmet base color, and here it is a helmet SMDI texture. Save now. We are going to uh, and say always, always, always save it as Photoshop. I'm speaking about SMDI texture because you don't really remember all the numbers you already did, and you might want to copy that for next. Um, attempt. Okay, so um, now we're going to create uh, fix. I mean the normal map. This one. Okay, and this is a little bit tricky shit. Okay, so uh, we don't have. Okay. We've done this. And no, like that. N O H Q. That's a normal map. Um, wait. Is that? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Way to do that. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh, I was ready to spend half on the half I mean 30 minutes on that uh, so great mm, looks like we almost have uh, all necessary um, textures but let's 
let's let's create an thing over here. What if I'm going to put it oh, shit? How it's going to look like? Um, wait, how do stormtroopers look like? It, it, it must be black, right? It's not blue. Yeah, white and black. Black and white. Okay, let's go. Oh no, please <laughs> be deleted. <laughs> No, oh, no, we don't. We're not going to do that. Looks strange to me. So now let's walk with our materials, helmet material, or as I like to call it, material, and that's it. Uh, let's go to the basic material. We're not going to use the TI, I don't know what it stands for. No, the CA means that there is an alpha channel. Well, uh, I don't know PA. It's not going to find it since this is a, should should be a path, and uh, it will ignore it. Um, normal map. Let's stand with normal map. Uh, let's create the normal map. Just delete the PNG and click enter, okay? And that will create the file. Press right, shift, uh, no, no, shift and right click, copy as path, paste it with the brackets right over here, delete the P drive, otherwise it will not work. Same thing for SMD architecture. Now, drag SMD architecture, save as, delete PNG, Click enter, wait a little bit more because it's the same detection. Take a look what you have here and feel fear in your in your heart. So uh, this orange section is going to be look like a metal. And this is a mistake. And I really want to take a look how it's going to look like with this SMD architecture. Uh, I don't understand. We need to make it like uh, this, and let's uh, and we can take a look where we fucked up. Blue channel, blue channel. Looks fine to me. Green channel, green channel, and uh, those. You know, it should be black. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Great. So, okay. Mm, I forgot to invert. I mean, I forgot how to do it the right way, and I have should have inverted something, or not inverted. So, um, some sort of a channel. Anyways, I want to take a look how it will look like that because it might be interesting. Don't uh, be afraid to experiment. Okay. So, uh, material over here, and. Okay, 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 material. Uh, we need to paste the SMD architecture right inside. Uh, here we go. Save. Um, fine, fine, fine. Okay, save. <clears throat> we don't even need to create the material. We just stole it from this helmet. So, uh, the last thing we need to config for that. And I fucking hate it. Wait, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually thinking, uh, you know, when you are in the motor helmet in the distant lawn, people can't really understand what they're talking about. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about not you, not to use the. Um, Of course, I'm, I'm not going to use the motor helmet, otherwise people will not understand what you're talking about. And in the DZ stand, I mean, in the Star Wars, they have some sort of microphone inside of it. So uh, I'm going to take a look at the motor helmet 
Find, 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 find. The oh, fucking So color base. Oh, where is the color base version? Uh, no mask. No yep. Heat isolation. Item size, weight, uh, simulation, repair, <coughs> protection. Oh, interesting. It has biological protection. But there must be something that tells uh, to play muffled sound. And I really uh, and I do remember there is some string that is telling like, uh, yeah, sound voice type model helmet, sound voice priority ten. Okay, I don't know what sound priority, but let's take a look at the gas mask. Um, and I guess gas mask has to be in the. Oh wait, wait, wait! I'm not here. Uh, it should be in the. Masks. Yeah, find me a gas mask. So, and voice type, gas mask. And sun voice priority 5. So, we're going to use the sun voice gas mask, I think. Uh, I'm going to take a look at how it looks like uh, sounds in Daisy because I forgot. Okay, I'll stay with the gas mask, okay? So, um, now let's, this is a helmet, and, um, need to go to characters, headgear, config, over here, and copy that over here, and we're going to, we don't need this, actually we need only model, helmet, color base. That's what I'm going to base on. We don't need everything over here. We don't need actually even this. We are going to be basing off color base of model helmet. So uh, make it like this. Star Wars pack. In Pearl, oh, okay, you know, uh, this is a sketchy thing. Uh, in Pearl, Stormtrooper Helmet 1. In Pearl, Stormtrooper Helmet 1. And something is wrong over here, I guess, because I forgot to brask it, it over here. And, right, yeah. Okay, and we don't need anything else over here. <clears throat> Great. We might not... I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to. Uh, so... Description just to sh be sure that it works. Um, okay, and now let's go to the this section, and we need to copy the path for the helmet itself. Uh, put it right here. Delete the P drive because players don't have the P drive. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, now let's go to the Mm. And I'm going to study a little bit about this, okay? So it turn, uh, turns out there is no information about the weights except it was heavy. So for the helmets, 2 kilograms is... Uh, it is already really a lot. So, uh, um, yeah, can it be, 
okay i'm not going to change something over here right um uh, and biological protection must be 90 percent or even let's make it 100 percent so it's going to be and here is the interesting part so take a look uh, we might go with it two ways we can make it so that uh, it is reducing the amount of damage player gets from a gunshot or we can make it so while it's pristine it is completely uh, absorbing the damage but once it's it is born or damaged or badly damaged it will still reduce the amount of uh, damage player can receive so uh, I'm going to stick with the second variant because this is a really interesting in, uh, part because if you got hit and not penetrated in a helmet well in real life you will get hit I mean you will feel bad but it makes play the game a little bit interesting with the second variant because, yeah. So projectile, it's going to be one ninety nine percent. So one percent is okay. Let's do it ninety five percent. So it, it 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 is even becoming a little bit realistic, right? So blood loss, it will not save you from. No, it is saving you from the blood loss well, from the head, and it will also reduce if you got hit by let's think it it, it must be a cheap one anyways. Um, so it's going to be let me think, let me think. Oh yeah, I need to think a little bit. So it is going to be uh. It is a massive. If I got hit with a shovel while wearing this helmet, well, it will absorb the physical damage, but I will get the kinetic energy all through my what? Through my bones and my brain. So it was about ten percent. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to make it. Uh. 15% just to make it more interesting wait yeah um melee well you can't stop me uh, through this helmet so 1% I just want to give some information on the screen that uh, you're being attacked actually so shock from the melee Ah, now this is the projectile. So, so from the projectiles, yeah, uh, I can be protected, for example, by 80% and 20%. I will feel like, oh shit, I got hit in the head with the bullet. And melee, now this is, yeah, uh, you can, yeah, infect it. Uh, if they will going to be attacking me, you, they can't. No, they can't damage me. If the if my helmet is pristine and I'm putting 1% because I'm not sure uh, the, the second uh, how do I call it the second cause is uh, because I'm not sure how it works so uh, when the damage I mean the helmet is damaged um, does it multiply or does it just add some sort of penalty if it's multiplying it will lose the penalty if it's zero so that's why i'm making it this way okay uh shock 
damage from infected and <clears throat> I'm going to stick to the 50-50 okay because it's not a shovel anyways frag grenade now helmets is an actual thing that is created to uh, save you from uh, fragmentations of the grenades and everything like that uh, helmets are not created to save you from the bullets actually so in real life uh, and I I'm going to stick to the same uh, logic over here okay so and not a mono helmet but a gas mask and some voice priority over here now we have determined how our <clears throat> Star Wars helmet is going to work <coughs> I'm sorry. Now we're going to create. Uh, yeah, it, it's a base color, right? Uh, no, it's base. It just, it's just base uh, color. <laughs> yeah, it's a base color because I want to paint it later somehow in the interesting way. And I'm going to base the regular one. Oh shit! I'm going to base it the regular. Yeah, like white. On this one and um, yeah scope color now that's a white color and why it is said over here I don't know visibility modifier fine hidden selection textures yeah so now uh, we need to take a look what is a hidden selection right over here get back over here and our head our helmet must be with, the, with this selection camo ground Redefine. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to... Yeah, uh, sorry. This must be the ground version. And this is the version for the characters, okay? Oh, wait. Okay, save. Okay, and this... So, we don't have a visitor. And let's go over here. Data. Where is our color? Oh, yeah, mm, I forgot to create it. Right, so uh, now we are good to go. Everything is fine except, look, uh, now 60 points, I don't know, we, does it, is it a lot or not? So we're going to test it later, okay? Um, now we need to copy everything right here, paste it right here, delete. Delete, 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 and look, in the viewport, we don't need to have anything. Geometry, okay, fine. Um, I'm not going to optimize it yet, because my computer is really good. And I'm willing to take a look how it looks like in the game already. Add-on builder. Let's go to the Star Wars pack. Pack it. 
Okay, while it packs, we need to run the DZ standalone. And I'll be right back. And of course, we need to run the DZ standalone. And while it's running, I will be back. Okay, black and white, but that's fine. Okay, uh, my game has crashed. What? Um, okay, I will run without you because you have already seen that. No, it, 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 it didn't crash. Okay, so uh, let's spawn our Star Wars helmet. Star Wars pack. Here we go. Helmet white. Now it's going to look like this because we haven't stated uh, how you do remember that we have created the. Um, I'm going to explain to you that so you don't get afraid. We have made this file, but we haven't modified the ground version. We to for the test purposes we don't need that. So take a look at yourself. What the fuck? Okay. Um, this one is really interesting, right? Because uh, so we have like a vision from the helmet, and I really forgot about it uh, in the back in the time. Um, but why doesn't <laughs> it looks like we don't have helmet in our cell? Because we have run out of a limit for polygons, and I really hate this shit. So. Um, we need to close our DZ. Stand alone. Now I get re a little bit upset because of it. So uh, that means that our model is going to look, look uh, a bit worse. And uh, we need to optimize it. Uh, but let's hope that mm, it will be not, not noticeable, okay? so. Select everything, merge near, detect, okay, oh shit, okay, so merge near, and we're going to define how much we're going to remove ourselves, okay, it did nothing, so we need to go to that, I guess. Let's take a look. Is it degrading or not? Well, of course it is, but it might be not noticeable. Okay, so uh, it has five, uh, six thousand polygons, and a little bit even more. Or even more. Until it will look disgusting. So this is the quality of DZ standalone. How it should be. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is my favorite game. That's why I'm joking. Now, when it will have textures, you will not see the roughness of the polygons, anyways. But let's hope that five thousand is acceptable for the DZ standalone. Okay. So mm, delete, paste it everywhere except the last one right now. Oh no, it broke normals. It might look ba bad in the game, but okay. Oh, we'll take a look. Oh shit! Now save. Open the ground version because we will use the ground version as a backup. 
right here. Mm, yeah. Just put it here. Save, close. <sighs> that means we, we need to, if it will look back, bad, we'll need to go to the um, Blender and make it look better in the Blender. It just will take a little bit more time. Okay, I'll pause the video now. Okay, this is uh, this is too much for it to handle, anyways. So it, that's why it's <sighs> transparent. Okay. No, that's not even really a bad thing because <sighs> that way we're going to spend more time. But look at. But that will look better, okay? So let's go um, and do that. I'm just a lazy. Um, I'm just a lazy one, so I don't want to do that at all. And export. Now this is before Blender tool uh, helmet. Only current LOD don't separate. Don't do that. Oh no, everything is fine. And don't press this one, okay? Let's go to the Blender now. Oh, we already run Blender. Okay. Let's just create new. Fucking you. No, don't do that. And import. So you don't remember. I oh, know you remember. Okay. So it is extremely tiny, right? Oh fuck, I forgot the... Uh, uh, there must be some standards for hotcase for those uh, 3D programs, because... I'm done with that, okay? Uh, I always forgot from program to program... Uh, how can I take a look how much... Okay, I don't give a single one. Oh shit. Here we go. Edit mode. And decimate. I need to go back from the edit mode and Oh no. Damn it. Okay. Unsubdivide, okay? Well I mean let's try this, but it might look better. Okay, this one is already terrible. Now, another thing, uh, the planner, uh, it will not... See. Yeah, so planner is not suitable for us because it will have more than four... Uh, whew, more, th more than four verticals, okay, in one face. Um, so let's have a have a look how much the maximum we can uh, go with them. Mm. I think the killer helmet is the heaviest one over here. How much faces we can key up to three thousand and a half faces it will work. Okay, great. Um, 
So you want me to do the three half thousand, but that's is that is bad. Okay, that might look like this, uh, but what if we apply? Okay. Uh, it, if we take a look at the grid, it doesn't look really bad, but uh, let's and control and to know its new file. Uh, control shift and recalculate normal. Okay, let's control shift and here we go. Still, um, it's, ju it's just a reflection, so don't pay attention to that. And I can't believe it was uh, okay. Let's let's export it. Helmet optimized, helmet optimized. I said goodbye. And the bad thing here is, uh, oh, no, no, it's fine. I was thinking that I uh, saved it and I don't know where, where did exactly did I save it. A little pop -pum, here it goes. And, 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 and let's, let's, let's open. Uh, pu -pu 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 -pu, object builder. File, import, LBX. Now, uh, it might be okay because we didn't scale it. Yeah, it's okay. No. Get out. Shit, what the fuck is going on? Uh, ah, here we go. So I pressed uh we okay oh fucking hell so what happened here we need to mm, invert normals over here so yeah but not everywhere damn it okay let's try to fix that can we can we no fucking hell I'm using plus and minus on the numpad over here. So I need to invert only this. And some in something over here. Damn it. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Damn, I'm good. Fuck in hell. Damn. Here we go. And don't forget this shit over here. It it it, it should be if, if you want to save some polygons, and we want this. So, you need to... Invert it over here. Instead of making the interior, I can't do that, but... 
I don't want to. So, okay. Great. Looking good. We're looking good. And finally, and don't forget that we have a messed up version of SMDI textures. So, it's going to be a little bit interesting to take a look how it is going to be looking in the game. Don't forget to pack it. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Okay, now we have it in our game, right? Uh, except um, when we crouch and everything like that, it's not following us. So, what is the problem here? So, first of all, let's close the DG stand long. Let's go to over here. If you have such a thing, you need to go to the model config. Take a look. HM default camel ground. Everything is fine over here. Okay, we close everything. Accept it. Great. Um, now let's go over here. Because I bet that, yeah, we've lost the bone. And you need to also redefine it as a common ground. So when I'm pressing the head or a common ground, if the yeah, M, it will be selected. And now let's go everywhere, paste it everywhere. The Save. Now I need to pack it again, and I fucking hate it, okay? So let's uh, save your time. So uh, apparently there is some sort of issue with the textures, uh, and I'm going to find out what's wrong with that. So for now, at least, it looks like this, without textures. Uh, yeah, black and white, because... <sighs> because uh, this is a bug of the game, and once I will bleed, we'll see the colors. But there is no need for that anyways, because uh, there is no uh, color yet, okay? So, um, this happens, okay? This is a normal thing when you run into some sort of problems when you encounter, encounter with a new type of, uh, how do I call it, maybe workflow or something. Uh, because uh, different uh, game engines, uh, they use uh, different uh, setups, uh, different properties for the textures. And one way to lose all the properties is basically turn... Uh, so we had our uh, texture for the color in the PNG, right? So one way to lose it is basically uh, turn it into the GPack. So I'm going to write G, PNG to GPack convert because I don't want to use my computer for that. That will be uh, a little bit more longer since uh, my Photoshop is not running right now. As you can see, it is much, much faster. And so I'm going to throw it over here. And uh, it might not work, but let's give it a try, okay? So uh, let's close everything up that we don't need it right now. Now, interesting, right? So it does, it, it seems like it has something. Uh, let's try to take a look what's wrong with that. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's turn on the Photoshop. Maybe the website did something wrong here. Um, some sort of an issue. I'm not low on my space, am I? I'm low on my space somehow. Okay, how did that happen? That's because I'm downloading the game right now. Uh, 
Okay, what can I delete? I don't have games on my computer, so what's the problem here? Yeah, the DZ modding really consumes your space on your computer. So. Little bit more. Well, I hope that will be enough for you. It's not only because, uh, so I'm running short on the memory, so. Okay, I decided to leave the Naruto. Since I will play like 15 minutes and I will be done with that game. Um, yeah, so let's go uh, back. Jpeg. I don't need Jpeg. That's that that's interesting. How can it be so okay? Uh let's save it as GPAC right now. And this is literally this the first time when I see something like this happening. Okay, 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 okay. Uh when I did it myself, it works great. Replace it. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. So now I'm going to paste it uh, back. Uh, I mean, uh, look, uh, I, have ha I have removed the campground. So uh, now we have object uh, 3M and everything like that. So I'm going to oh, fuck, rename it by pressing on it or whatever. How do I re okay rename copying it because I already have this selection right uh, and now I'm going to go to the model over here config uh, re re rename or uh, replace it over here and also over here and save. And yep, I hope it will work. So apparently it is messed up. Uh, I don't know. Take a look. Um, maybe something changed over here. So I deleted the selection right over here. So um, when it comes to hidden selection textures and materials, it, it doesn't take it from here. It, in instead it will take it from here from the model itself uh, and about the experiment this is how our uh, material looks like it's uh, it's really shiny and as you remember the parts that are yellow uh, they are literally um, should be extremely shiny so it is a black color in the texture but here it reflects light like a hell of a lot you can see if i zoom in that if it has no light on it it is it is black indeed but once it has some light it will okay so we need to redo that right uh and let's do that right now so for that we need to turn uh open our smdi texture you remember we have said it Right, so, and then like this, and this, this, okay, so let's save it. Uh, so I uh, inverted the blue one and made the uh, green one the way it was before, and uh, let's name it SMDI1. Because uh, now we're going to play with the SMDIs. This is always the tricky part. Oh, yep. Wait, what happened? Ah, fuck, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I need to rename it the backward. Fuck off. Like this. Um, 
Well, um, now, now is shiny as fuck. Okay, uh, I just imported it, but we need to work more. So let's get over here. I'm going to do the same thing over here right now. Fuck what I'm doing. Wait. Now if you'll give me a look how it will be looking. I deleted the red channel basically. Okay. to beat purple too. Maybe something like this. Kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be a little bit different. You know what, now, uh, I want to be exactly pink. And this is uh, a red right now. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to make the results match. Okay, uh, now this looks exactly not like this. So I decided to stay with what I had over here. Um, this is the results, yeah, this is how it was, this is the results. And why so? Because otherwise I will need to create two Samdai maps and then combine them. And I really don't want to do that, okay? Uh, I want to take a look again what it will look like with this. Maybe this is enough. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to work more, but as my dad said once, uh, actually not once, a really lazy person does everything from the first try. I mean, he tries a lot. No, no, no. He, he doesn't try a lot. He tries to do the first attempt really hard. Okay? So I guess I'm not a lazy person then. So the coloring on the eyes, 
on the elements is good. But not the white thing. It's really, really shiny. And if we want to see the colors. Well, I hope it be on one point today. We need to bleed. Or turn on the. I'll turn on the sound or turn off the uh, wait. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. Yeah. So turn on. Uh, go into the free camera mode, but I don't remember how to do that. So instead, I'm going to patch myself up. So when it doesn't have any, uh, I think this is the messed up model. I need to re. Wait, it doesn't really look that bad. No, it's it, it's like fucking it's fucking shining. <laughs> well, okay, like this. This is great, but when we go with the color, I mean with the. To the, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm right. Uh, this is a little bit too much. So I need to go to the third person. No, no, not third person. This is teleport. I don't remember how to. Um, well, there is one, one single thing I can do. Hey, Boris. How is it? I bet you hate me. Oh, because I always test things on you. And so this is how it looks like. Actually looking decent, but some, for some reason it, it looks bad. Oh, okay, why well, I'm lagging? Am I overheated? Uh, but it, um, you know, looks strange. Okay, if I will shoot it like, shoot him like this, I will, okay. Some sort of gun. Okay, I want to take a look at the famous. Yeah, now he. Okay, great. I can move him, but not, but not. Okay. No, I need to test it the other way, okay? Um, I have no zombies over here. Okay, I'll do it by my... my. Well, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it looks really shiny in the inventory, but... Well... I don't know. How many shots can it? And, oh no, no, no. can it handle? One, one pure shot, two, three, four, three. So three shots to the head. It will fully absorb three two shots to the head. It will fully absorb the damage, and then it will leak. One more. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. I think we might want to reduce it. And I think 
so one uh, object builder and no 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 hand famous magazine what the fuck where is the button famous magazine one shot he's not bad two and he has uh, like if we are able to take a look over here, no, he's not player. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. So six shots to the head. And it, it is like one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's too much. It must be like two hatches because this is a helmet. That's okay. Uh, and helmet is now damaged. So, yeah, for the scavengers, they will not receive the helmet that is... Okay, this is great. Um, now I'm gonna finish it. Uh, it's already too much over time. So there is a thing uh, you can do to make it uh, less shiny. Um, so, first of all, let's uh, try to make it the way I told you with the two uh, different uh, um, SMD textures combined. So to do that, uh, I need to do it this way, I guess. And this. Uh, yeah. So I'm happy with this pink. But I want to be this one to be a little bit more pink. Oh fuck, I don't see that, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and I'm changing the wrong one. Now, I want this channel. You gotta figure it out by yourself. How the hell are you going to do some sort of other things? What do you think? Looks uh, similar to me. So uh, now I'm going to combine. No, no, no. So if I go to this and go to this, okay. And now if I combine them somehow. Yeah, like this. Oh no, it's not really like this, but it is a little bit, a lot more better. Let's try this one. And I really, really, really hope that this is the way it should be. So you need to turn on your brains to uh, understand what is happening, to figure out the problem and how to solve it. And believe me or not, a lot of people, they don't know how to do that, because I've been teaching a lot of people behind the scenes, uh, and they actually don't turn on their brains, uh, and they always ask me how to do that, how to do that, okay, I will explain it to you one time, but then Next time he has similar problem and he's like, "What I'm going? What should I do?" Because they get used to that you turn on your brain <coughs> instead of them. So when they have a, the little problem, any problem, they run to you and like, "Oh man, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with that?" <sighs> okay. I don't know, man. You gotta figure it out by yourself. So, yeah. Some worse pack. Helmet. Still really shiny. Looks like almost nothing changed.
Okay, uh, there is a trick, an old school trick. Back in the times we were doing the SMD texture this way. You can take a look. You go to the Photoshop. You're not satisfied with that? Okay, that's fine. You're gonna create a new um, layer. Go to the pure red brush. Make it uh, a real brush. Make it bigger. Like this. And just put something. No. Because uh, red makes uh, it ignore the light. So we reduced it uh, by, you know, this is 48% of transparency and it doesn't mean that we are losing the 48% of, of the light, but still. Okay, and uh, while it, it it does everything, I need to pack my things up in the real life. Okay, I'm back, and so I figured out what the problem was. Uh, so, first of all, we did everything right with this MDI over here. It should look like this. Now, uh, next thing is... Um, I don't need those experiments. So, uh, next thing is that... Uh, in the uh, config of our helmet right over here, uh, I just deleted uh, the path to the material and the um, texture. For some reason, it didn't want to update uh, that way. So uh, once I stated uh, the once I stated the uh, texture and material for the helmet inside of the P3D model itself, it started to appearing the right way. Uh, so I suggest you to do that way. Uh, also, I made the geometry. No, I didn't. I made the view geometry. It is basically you are hovering the... Hmm, your cursor over the helmet to be able to pick it up without uh, going into the inventory. And here is the thing that I just copied that from some sort of helmet uh, from original game, I don't remember which one. So uh, I need to uh, adjust it for this helmet. I'll just bring it like this. Bring it like this. This is fine. Don't worry that it looks messy because uh, this is uh, for the computer purpose. He just need to uh, understand that you want to touch every part of this helmet right over here. So, and it should look uh, almost fine, except um, there is one uh, pivot or particle, I don't know how to, no, point uh, that I need to uh, move down here. So, here we go. Um, looks pretty nice yeah i will probably use it later for other helmets and okay okay save mm. another thing i did is a fire geometry it is basically uh shows uh if the bullet hits this geometry here, uh, it will count as penetration, so we need to uh, move it like somewhere like this. So, if a bullet will hit something over here, it will not count as a helmet. Uh, so, let's work a little bit on it. Okay, uh, so for that, we need to go on the front. And move this point and this point just like this. Uh, trust me, this is enough. There is no need to make it extremely uh, realistic because otherwise 
Well, you don't want that because of the performance issues. Uh, so yeah, kind of. And if it hits somewhere here, let's pretend it will be a ricochet, okay? Uh, because, uh, or maybe we can just extrude it a little bit here. Okay, let's let's do that. No compromises. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and actually, I think you do want to have your neck protected. So let's move it right here. So somehow, yeah, yeah. I like it so and actually I think that will be a great idea if we just move it right over here okay so this is a fire geometry safe uh, that's it and I also did so I put the best model in the first one then I uh, pressed points merge near and a little bit uh, I deleted all, some of the faces by merging it, so it was 3,500, 3,200, and then more and more and more simplified, so it will take uh, less performance from your computer, uh, as you're seeing more of them. And another thing that I did, uh, I no, I think this that's it, yeah. Uh, and now we are going to use the health levels. So first of all, as you remember, 60 uh, HP is 11 shots to destroy. And like, so I'm going to cut it in a almost in health. I'm going to give it a 25 uh, health points. Yeah. So next thing. Uh, I'm going to create the ability to um, show the damage of this helmet uh, when you're looking at it. So now I'm going to rename these materials to um, M damage. So it's like damaged material. And, oh, damn it. And this is going to be material destruct. Uh, there is already a generic um, thing, uh, a texture, generic texture, like uh, generic damage uh, detail texture, something like that, micro details. Uh, so it is already built up in this, inside of the game. So we need just uh, open our previous material that is like a pristine one and we need to put it right over here so we are just replacing the um, how do you call it um, we are replacing the um, normal map over here and also some of the properties that I have that I have played with uh, okay, let's go further. This is the SMDI, and this is it. So damage is already done over here. Now let's go to the destruct, and we'll just, you know, we'll just copy that right over here, like that. And here we go. There is there is a destruct micro details or whatever it is. Uh, so now we go to the SMD uh, texture and copy that to right over here. Okay. Great. Uh, now next thing we are going to do is... Uh, we are going to define how much of, this, of damage should helmet receive before showing the damage. So if it's above no, uh, sorry, I don't remember how to use those words right, so I'm going to tell, I'm going to say it the wrong way, but you understand. So if our high, uh, if our, our health is higher than 70%, uh, 
it will look pristine. If it's lower than 70%, uh, it will look pristine too, okay? So we need to use uh, our material right over here. We'll just copy it, paste it over here. Don't forget to, destroy, uh, to uh, remove the P drive because players, they don't have it. And here we go. Now, when it's when it has less than fifty percent of uh, of health, it will be damaged one. So okay. And now the part that, that I really like to do is uh, it, it really makes it more interesting. Uh, I am doing that. Uh, you are able to use item that looks like it is destructed. So uh, if it's less than 30% of the health pool, it will be looking destructed. It will not be damaged like all items in the existing loan. It will be destructed as well as in this when it has uh, zero points of, uh, of health. Okay? And I really want to be uh, able for the maybe make it damaged right over here too. So it's like new only thirty percent, and then it's look it looks damaged. Well, <clears throat> we'll see later. Okay. Uh, now I need to check up on the yeah. Okay. And also yeah, I forgot to tell you, uh, I made them. Uh, ground version of it, same way. Uh, so there is the oh shit, there is a helmet right over here. Simplified, simplified geometry. So you can't. Uh, so it has some volume inside of the game. If you throw item on it, it will interact with that geometry. Memory. It's how it will look like inside of the uh, inventory. So let's fix it up because I forgot to do that. Uh, let's move it right over here. Move it right over here like that. Right over here and right here. And so the in view is actually shows from which direction uh, camera will take a look at your item in the inventory. So right now it looks like this, but I don't want it to be this way. So I want it to look it straight in the eyes. So I'm going to move it right over here, right over here. And maybe I need to rotate it uh, 90 degrees, something, something like this and save it. Okay. Uh, now, view geometry, same thing, and fire geometry, uh, almost the same thing. Let's fix it up a little bit, so we'll see how you do that. Uh, choose everything and just move it like this. Okay, that's fine. Now save. And now we are going to pack it and we will finally see the results. Okay, and let's run the game and make myself happy today. So here we go. So this is uh, how it looks like in game now. There is a stormtrooper helmet. This is how it looks like inside of the inventory. Pretty neat, I think. Uh, and this is how it looks like on our uh, character. I really like it. Now, <laughs> damn, I really like it. So now let's take a look how it looks like uh, on other people. So it will be Boris again. With the hand cuffs. And I need some weapons. And I'm gonna use weapons that I use uh, that I have created by myself. It will be, yeah, 
Oh. Not that one. That one. And something more serious is... It's gonna be that. It's M4. Where is it? Here we go. And I need hand grip for that because And I need iron sight. Okay. Carry handle. And I need an app. Okay, great. So now I need to assemble my gun. So this is what you can create if you know how to do it like me and I can show that but for some cost uh, yeah so Yeah, here you go. No, I want to have my helmet on myself. I really like it. Star Wars uh, helmet white. I bet I'm going to spend all my free time today to make the whole costume. Handcuffs. You are unlucky, man. You are really unlucky. Or maybe no. Maybe, oh, by the way, look how it holds it the right way. Or maybe you're lucky because I'm going to test the header on you and this is like low caliber gun. There will be not Boris, let's pick another one survival. Let's pick Mirek. Star Wars helmet and handcuffs. Who is it? Okay, my favorite. By the way, I look almost exactly like this guy in real life. So it's like shooting myself. And also we are going to take a look how it looks from the distance. Okay? So this is how they look. You can pretty sure see them. Because, you know, it is white. And... Yeah. Peacock. Let's use a cook instead. You know, uh, I really suck at shooting, so I'm going to do it on the point blank distance instead. And first of all, yeah, uh, again, uh, Star Wars helmet over here. And I need to take a look. Uh, as you remember, it took like 11 shots to completely destroy it. It's already worn. Three, three shots and it's damaged and, and it looks amazing, extremely amazing. It was three shots, four. It's badly damaged and it looks extremely amazing. Because this is the material of destructed item, and you can see that right over, right on the helmet itself. And imagine playing some sort of roller play server, and you're like a scavenger or something, I don't know, uh, on Tatooine or something, and you find the really badly damaged helmet. You put it on so you look like this. Now, I think this is a great extremely great feature I uh, showed you how to do that
Okay, uh, that was four shots. Oh, uh, where is it? And five. And six. Now, uh, for, as, as you remember, uh, okay, it's pristine. It completely brawl, uh, takes the damage. Now, second shot. And now it will, uh, Damage. I mean, you will receive the damage since it is, uh, you know, it is. <laughs> oh fuck! It is already worn. It's not pristine. So let's spawn another one, Boris. Uh, just for the clear test, because I'm almost this. Uh, you know, I'm a chemist in real life. So one shot is that one. Okay, great. And another gun. I need to use another gun. Um, and low caliber. Almost this uh, the, the biggest gun. Um, yeah, I want to shoot. Run. Three. Okay, three shots, and it's still intact. Three, four, five. Okay, now it will damage him. Five. Uh, yeah, five, 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 six. <laughs> I really I forgot the <laughs> numbers. Six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fifteen. And it's destroyed. So, yeah, now this is, uh, at least, I think it is, uh, realistic that from the small caliber, uh, like, Almost toy guns, it will uh, help you to survive those bullets. So, uh, Star Wars helmet, uh, hand handcuffs, we already have them. Right on, over here. I just want to take a look at some of the things. Oh uh, yeah, so and cuffs. No, we don't. We already have Boris. Another one. Okay. And Star Wars pack. Helmet white. And I need some ammo. Uh, PP91 magazine. Just for you to show, this is the real gun. This is the real police or uh, Russian gun. Uh, usually uh, used by spec ops, by police spec ops. There is a huge difference between that. And uh, it is extremely compact, as you can see, because it can also be, it, it can fold the stock, and it's almost like a pistol. So, and the thing here is that, uh, not in Daisy standalone, in real life, there are special type of ammunition that can penetrate through uh, up to level 3 by NIJ uh, classification, uh, the armor plates. And it has this pirate. Yeah, uh, so extremely deadly thing. And I wanted to take a look if I would shoot him with a hat like I'm a rebel or something with some sort of almost toy gun caliber. How fast could I do that? 
Okay, at the point blank distance, there is no way I'm going to kill him right now. Like that. So he is going to notice it. Okay. What is it for? No. Damn it. This is a bad. This is really bad. They heard some sort of gunshot. Need to protect my stormtroopers. No, I'm I'm already playing because I really like how it looks like. Uh, so as well as real life, that thing is effective only at one point. Sorry, I'm really stupid, man. Oh. I hope that's it. So, back to business. So it's like one magazine straight to the face with something like this. It is possible. And now it's mine. Okay, what else I can test? Um, what weapons do we have in the game? SVDM, SVDM, interesting. Uh, of course, he will not use SVD in the Star Wars, uh, but it can be like a hard, uh, I don't know, a really cool sniper rifle. So oh, yeah, two shots. Okay. So that's a, that, that's too much. I need to make it less uh, because I wanted it to be so it's like on the heavy gun, and he's that. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching, and uh, you can support me on my uh, Boosty account. You can support me by purchasing my products like uh, first person pack, or I mean first person shooter pack, or Delta Gear pack, or just uh, I can create some sort of a modification for your server. That will be uh, only yours. I can do whatever you want. I mean, we can discuss about it. So, uh, all links will be in the description. Thank you for your attention.